Okay, I'm with MEN Sports Editor Peter Spencer and we're just going to be looking ahead to this weekend's derby. So uh, first up, Pete, it's the uh, big match this weekend, the derby. Yeah, I can't uh, wait. There's been a lot of hype about this minute silence. What do you think the chances of the uh, minute silence being observed? Well, I'm not so sure whether it's hype. I think there's concern about it. Um, that's the way we try to cover it. We try to be sensible about it, as we always do. And um, we've got the views of Colin Bell. I know United are making great efforts to um, dress up that part of the ground to make City fans feel at home, if you like. They've taken down the sign that says City haven't won anything for 32 years because that will be seen as a provocative um, uh, message. So they've taken that away, uh, which is a good move. Um, Bobby Charlton, Dennis Law, Colin Bell, I mean, these are all legends in their own right and have all said that they think the minute silence will be adhered to. And who am I to argue? I just hope, hope it is. Um, the England game, um, it didn't quite work, did it? Um, but this is a tragedy that affected everybody in Manchester. Uh, City fans think they're being uh, set up for a bit of a fall, I know, from reading the website feedback. Do you think that's fair? <laughs> Well, quite frankly, I think that's a crazy thing for them to think. Um, the, the only reason they'll have a fall is if they misbehave. <laughs> so just keep your mouth shut, lads. It's nothing. It's only a minute. Uh, and my God, this did affect everybody in Manchester. I mean, we all know about Frank Swift used to play for City. We know that um, Busby um, used to play for City as well. These are City people as well. This is a tragedy for Manchester, not Manchester United. Um, so there'll be no fault if they keep their mouth shut, which they most certainly, most certainly should do. Just looking towards the game, then, what do you think will happen on the pitch on Sunday? Well, City of the past are uh, unpredictable that they, used, that they used to be. And we, I used to call them the great unpredictables in, in, in copy. Um, I'd always think City could always. Um, turn the, the form book inside out and, and come away with a victory like they did uh, earlier in the season um, one of the few teams that have beaten United this season but on form it, it looks like a United victory um, but City are always capable of um, coming, uh, beating the odds Are you expecting City's new signings to have an impact Ben Jarney probably be starting up front Well you'd hope so wouldn't you after all the fuss over that and let's hope he keeps awake <laughs> So that's supposed to be the reason why he, he didn't actually come to Manchester on time. I think, um, well, the jury is certainly going to be out over, as it is with every new player. But I've seen City a few times this season, and, and that is a massive gap in the team, i.e. lack of forward power. All the goals were coming from midfield. Um, the, the, the signings didn't work earlier on, the forward signings. He's been unlucky with injuries. So um, they do need something up there. I mean... They need a, the way Sven plays it um, with a, a pivotal forward. Um, it, it should fit his um, tactics. Both sides are missing a couple of players because of uh, suspensions: City, Alano, Choluka, and Rooney from United. Who do you think has come off worse from that? I think um, the depth of United's um, squad will mean that United, um, again, will be at the edge there because uh, they've got players who can naturally come in and uh, make a difference, whereas City um, squad isn't anything like as strong. Um, now, uh, Ilano hasn't been playing so well of late, and uh, I saw him marked out of the game at Sheffield United by Gary Speed, um, which said a lot to me because uh, Ilano seems to be plays better against uh, lesser teams. Um, United aren't a lesser team. So I think Ireland's up for it. There's some quotes in today's Manchester Evening News about that, and yeah. uh, he seems like he's uh, the sort of guy who's going to make a difference. And I like it that he's based now in Manchester so he'll know what people in Mancunians think and how important the derby is so I can see him making uh, in fact I put him down as a potential star man for City right I don't know it was almost fitting if it was in United victory but then again City are always capable of upsetting the odds and the way that Zen plays it and he's proved himself over and over again now this season that uh, when he was the England manager he was uh, uh, badly treated by by the media and, and all the pundits and everybody else because he is an excellent manager um, and tactically astute so he'll know exactly how United are going to play that I think but I still think United are legit OK <laughs> so what, what can we expect in the MEN's coverage we've got um, three or four journalists going um, including myself Paul Lintz is back from retirement so he'll be doing some colour piece he knows some of the uh, older guys who'll be there um, 
who's uh, survived Munich and their relatives. So I'm expecting some uh, some good copy of Paul. Um, Chris Bailey looking at the city point of view, Stuart Matheson, of course, on the United side. And uh, if it can be arranged, I'm going to go in behind the scenes and hopefully um, interview people like Ricky Hatton and other um, celebrity fans from, from both sides. So it should be quite a package. And we've got the website, we'll be getting feedback from people. So anybody um, who wants to have their say on the game, they could send in their messages on um, Sunday afternoon, that would be great.